published 1028 est, the 1st of December 2017 updated 1044 est, the 1st of December 2017 is the best preserved fossil of its kind ever found and now scientists are unraveling new secrets about the mysterious nodosaur. The dinosaur, whose fossils look just like a statue, was first discovered in 2011 by miners in Fort McMurray, Alberta, usually just the bones and teeth of a dinosaur are found preserved, but the creature's rapid undersea burial 110 million years ago perfectly kept its skin and bones intact. A new study has revealed that the imposing spikes on the armor plating 110 million year old a leg tank dinosaur were also used for romance. Researchers have revealed the incredible rhino-sized creature, described as the Mona Lisa of dinosaurs, has exaggerated spines along its neck and shoulders which were likely used to attract a mate. The effect, also useful for intimidating rivals, would have been amplified by surrounding flesh, still visible thanks to the creature's incredibly conserved remains. Scroll down for video at first glance it may appear to be a fearsome fighter, but imposing spikes on the armor plating of the perfectly preserved for leg tank dinosaur were also used for romance, researchers reveal the incredible rhino-sized creature, described as the Mona Lisa of dinosaurs, has exaggerated spines along its neck and shoulders which were likely used to attract a mate from deer to elephants. Many creatures use horns, antlers and other anatomical lumps and bumps as both defensive weapons, and to display their social status. When studying the purpose of such objects, scientists look for structures that grow to exaggerated sizes as an animal matures sexually, with the Mark Michelli, studying this growth is impossible as the fossilized remains are one of a kind, and no immature bones have been found which they could compare to the adult specimen. Instead, researchers made the finding by measuring each of the fossil's 172 armor plates and examining their distribution across its body. The discovery was made by experts from the Royal Tyrrell Museum where the creature, scientific name Boreal Opal to Mark Michelli, is on display. Scientists have been examining the spectacular remains since it was officially unveiled in May, to learn more about how it lived. They found that the dinosaur's armor plates changed shape over its body, with the spiny protrusions towards the front of the bulky creatures body growing noticeably larger and more prominent, its imposing shoulder spines have been compared by experts to the horns of a bull. They also uncovered fossilized sheaths made of the protein keratin surrounding the armor plates, which would have added to their bulk and length, speaking to National Geographic, Dr. Caleb Brown, a researcher at the museum, said for most of these elaborate structures in living animals, tail feathers in birds, coloration in lizards, horns in mammals, the driving evolutionary force is generally sexual selection. That doesn't preclude its function in defense of species recognition. Borealo Pelta Mark Michelli is by no means alone in the animal kingdom for using multi-purpose protrusions for both love and war. The imposing herbivore, called a nodosaur, measured 18 feet in length and weighted nearly 3,000 pounds. Researchers suspect it initially fossilized whole, but when it was found in 2011, only the front half, from the snout to the hips, was recovered. Scientists previously used chemical analysis of organic compounds in the scales to infer the dinosaur's pigmentation pattern, which suggests it had reddish-brown knobbly skin. Artists' impression the effect, also useful for intimidating rivals, would have been amplified by surrounding sheaths of flesh, still visible thanks to the creature's incredibly conserved remains. This graphic shows a comparison of the size of the bony core and keratinous sheath of the large shoulder spine to modern mammals and lizards from deer to elephants. Many creatures use horns, antlers and other anatomical lumps and bumps as both defensive weapons, and to display their social status. When studying the purpose of such objects, scientists look for structures that grow to exaggerated sizes as an animal matures sexually, with the Mark Michelli, studying this growth is impossible as the fossilized remains are one of a kind, and no immature bones have been found which they could compare to the adult specimen. The fossil was found by Sean Funk when he was digging at the Millennium Mine near Fort McMurray in northern Alberta, Canada, on March 21, 2011. The armored plant eater is the best preserved fossil of its kind ever found, according to reports in National Geographic. It was found by Sean Funk, when he was digging at the Suncor Millennium Mine, near Fort McMurray in northern Alberta, Canada, on March 21, 2011. He hit something which seemed out of place from the surrounding rock, and decided to take a closer look. The fossil he uncovered was sent to the Royal Tyrrell Museum of Paleontology. They spent the next six years working on uncovering the beast within the 2,500-pound 1,100-kilogram lump of earth. 
After all that hard work, the finished result is now ready to be unveiled. The researchers believe that the dinosaur lumbered through what is now Western Canada, until a flooded river swept it into open sea. But the dinosaur's undersea burial preserved its armor in exquisite detail. Instead, Dr. Brown made the finding by measuring each of the fossils. 172 armor plates, which are believed to represent roughly two-thirds of the plates it would have had while still alive. Scientists believe that when the dinosaur died, it fell into a river and was swept out to sea, where it sank on its back to the ocean floor. At that time, its stomping ground of Alberta, Canada, was as warm as South Florida is today, and rivers and oceans likely spread far further inland than they do now. This nodosaur is truly remarkable in that it is completely covered in preserved scaly skin, yet is also preserved in three dimensions, retaining the original shape of the animal, said Dr. Brown at the time it was unveiled. The dinosaur employed a shielding technique known as countershading, which is also used by many modern-day animals. This means that parts of the creature that would normally be in shadow, like its underside pictured were lighter in color and those exposed to the light were dark. The amazing preservation of the specimen made it possible for researchers to document the pattern and shape of scales and armor across its body pictured. The result is that the animal looks almost the same today as it did back in the early Cretaceous. Don't need to use much imagination to reconstruct it if you just squint your eyes a bit, you could almost believe it was sleeping. The fossil is a newfound species of nodosaur, which lived midway through the Cretaceous period, between 110 million and 112 million years ago. The Cretaceous was a time when giant theropods, meat-eating dinosaurs that stood on two legs, roamed the Earth. Although the king of them all, Tyrannosaurus rex, lived millions of years after Borealopelte, the armored dinosaur may have been hunted by some of its formidable ancestors. The fossil is a newfound species of nodosaur, which lived midway through the Cretaceous period, between 110 million and 112 million years ago. The nodosaur is a type of ankylosaur often overshadowed by its famous cousins in the subgroup Ankylosauridae. Unlike its cousins, nodosaurs had no shin-splitting tail clubs, but they too wielded thorny armor to deter predators. The 18-foot-long, nearly 3,000-pound behemoth was the rhinoceros of its day, a grumpy herbivore that largely kept to itself, the heavily armored. Dinosaur used camouflage to hide from predators, despite being built like a four-legged tank artist's impression however, it it was attacked. The nodosaur had two 20-inch long spikes jutting out of its shoulders like a misplaced pair of bull's horns. The specimen was so well preserved, researchers were even able to determine the color of its scaly skin was a reddish brown and say it had something of a troubled past. By studying its skin, researchers found that this plant eater, though covered in armor and resembling a walking tank, likely faced a significant threat from meat eating dinosaurs. The heavily armored dinosaur used red and white camouflage to hide from predators, and employed a shielding technique known as countershading, which is also used by many modern day animals. Chemical analysis of organic compounds in its scales also reveal that the dinosaur's skin would have been reddish-brown. This would have allowed it to better blend into its surroundings and evade its enemies, experts say, suggesting it was preyed on by larger dinosaurs. Countershading, a common method of defense in the animal kingdom, means the top of the creature was darker than its underside. Findings come as surprise, however, because Borealopult's size far exceeds that of countershaded animals alive today. It suggests the dinosaur was hunted by enough pressure meat-eating dinosaurs that evolution favored concealment over confrontation as a means of survival. But most contemporary animals that have countershading think deer, zebras or armadillos are much smaller and more vulnerable as prey, signaling that this nodosaur faced a real struggle to survive. They include Acrocanthosaurus, a 38 feet 11.5 meters long monster weighing 6 tons. The creature was found by Sean Funk, when he was digging at the Millennium Mine near Fort McMurray in northern Alberta, Canada, on March 21, 2011. He hit something which seemed out of place from the surrounding rock, and decided to take a closer look. The fossil he uncovered was sent to the Royal Tyrrell Museum of Paleontology. Researchers at the museum have now studied and named the beast Borealopal to Mark Michelli, after technician Mark Mitchell who was one of a team who spent more than 7,000 hours painstakingly uncovering the creature. The researchers believe that the disarmored plant eater lumbered through what is now Western Canada, until a flooded river swept it into open sea. They spent the next six years working on uncovering the beast within the 2,500-pound 1,100-kilograms 1, lump of earth. 
According to the museum, it is the best preserved armor dinosaur in the world, including skin and armor, and is complete from the snout to hips. The creatures were around 18 feet 5 meters long on average, and weighted up to 3,000 pounds 1,300 kilograms. It featured two 20-inch long spikes which protruded from its shoulders. The dinosaur's undersea burial preserved its armor in exquisite detail. The fossilized remains of this particular specimen are so well preserved that remnants of skin still cover bumpy armor plates along the dinosaur's skull. As Michael Greshko wrote for National Geographic, such level of preservation is as rare as winning the lottery. The more I look at it, the more mind-boggling it becomes, the fossilized remains of this particular specimen are so well preserved that remnants of skin still cover bumpy armor plates along the dinosaur's skull left. It took over 7,000 hours to prepare this specimen for research and display right. Museum staff say fossilized remnants of skin still cover the bumpy armor plate dotting the animal's skull. Its right forefoot lies by its side, its five digits splayed upward. I can count the scales on its sole.